So, let's just first start off by um, identifying the hypothesis and the conclusion. You don't have to write these down on, on a sheet of paper. I just want you to talk to me and, I, and I'll write them on the board. I'll underline the hypothesis once and the conclusion twice. So raise your hand. In this first statement, can you tell me, if today is Monday, then tomorrow is Tuesday, what is the hypothesis? Yes, today is Monday. Today is Monday is what? It's a hypothesis. Hypothesis. How many times am I going to underline? Once. One time. Good. Okay. Conclusion? Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow is Tuesday is the conclusion. Underline it twice. All right. We also need to label it P or Q. What's going to get labeled P? Chris? Today is Monday. It's going to get labeled P because P is the hypothesis. Then what's going to get labeled Q? Tomorrow's Tuesday. Q is the conclusion. All right? Okay? So our original statement is if today is Monday, then tomorrow's Tuesday. So we have P, then Q. We're going to add a negation to this now. So this little squiggly line in front of the letter P simply means the word not. Okay, so this simply means not P. Alright, we're going to take a look at some examples with that. So, this says, if not P, then not Q. So, P is the hypothesis, Q is the conclusion. So, if not P, then not Q, what's our statement going to say? Good, Teresa. If today is not Monday, then tomorrow is not Tuesday. Okay? And this is what we call the inverse to our original statement. It's the exact same statement, right? P and Q are in the exact same place. What's the only thing that's different? We added a not in front of the hypothesis and the conclusion, or to the hypothesis and to the conclusion. So the squiggly line P and then the squiggly line Q is the inverse to our um, original statement. So I'm going to press play. You watch and then you tell me what happens. What happened? It what switch? The hypothesis and the conclusion switch. Okay, originally it was P, then Q. Now the converse is going to say what? Q. Q, then P. So we switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. So the conclusion now comes in front of the, the if statement. <coughs> We're just going to, we're not going to write these down, we're just going to talk about them. So the original statement is, if you are a 13 year old, then you are a teenager. Let's label this first. Help me label this. You are 13 is a hypothesis. Say it. You are 13 You are 13 is a hypothesis. How many times do I underline it? Once and label it. P. Then you are a teenager. Conclusion, so how many times are I underlined? Twice. Q. If I can label this, the rest of it should be a piece of cake. Okay, just follow the formula. So, converse is if Q then P, what's our statement going to say? Then you are a teenager. You are a teenager. If you are a teenager, then you're 13 years old. We're still keeping it if and then then. The only thing we're switching is the hypothesis and the conclusion. So if you're a teenager, because teenager was our Q, it's going to come first, then you're 13 years old, because 13 years old you are uh, the hypothesis, that is uh, going to come after the then. 
All right, how about the inverse? All right, say it loud. If you are not a 13 year old, then you are not a teenager. Right, okay. So this says not P. P was your 13 years old. So if you're not 13 years old, then Q is your teenager. This means not, the squiggly line. So then you are not a teenager. If you're not 13 years old, then you're not a teenager with the inverse says. What about the contrapositive? Good, Diana, right? Good. If you're not a teenager, then you're not 13 years old. Okay? Any questions there? Talk about what we leave is the, the transitive property. Okay? So, the transitive property is this. If A equals B and B equals C, then A must equal C. Okay? And I have them color coordinate for you. Okay? So this is our first sentence. When transitive properties, we're going to have two sentences. So the first sentence says this. If I'm a teenager, I go to school. I should have wrote then. I got to change it. I got to think that. Then I go to school. If I'm a teenager, then I go to school. The second sentence says, if I go to school, then I do my homework. So our hypothesis is right after the if. So our hypothesis is this. If I'm a teenager... My conclusion is, then I do homework. So our uh, conditional statement comes to be, if I am a teenager, then I do homework. Okay, so on the back side, there's a few of these uh, with transitive properties, and there's some that have multiple choice. So you're going to go through their label by underlining your hypothesis in the example. Label your conclusion. So we have P and we have Q. What do you notice in, in these two sentences? Let's kind of look at the color of it. Yes, ma'am. Um, what is the green in it? Yeah. Um, I go to school with you pre-empty time. Right. So do we use either one of those? No. Okay. So look for your hypothesis to follow the if. Look for your uh, conclusion to follow the